Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, great to be with you today. Um, if you're a Christian, great to be born again. Isn't it great to be born again, to be known by God and to know God and to be able to, man, flee into the arms of your Heavenly Father? So good. We're in verse 13 today of Daniel chapter 7. If you do have your Bibles, go ahead and crack your Bibles open or open your your Bible app or whatever the case may be for you. Um, I'm going to read, and this is just really, really good stuff. In the previous devotion, we talked about what, what Daniel saw with respect to the Father in the midst of all the chaos happening on earth. Um, he saw the Ancient of Days seated on his throne and surrounded by an infinite number of heavenly beings. And now, uh, while this chaos is still happening on earth, um, in verse 13, the Bible says, I saw in the night visions and behold, with the clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man and he came to the ancient of days and he was presented before him and to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. So in verses 11 and 12, we have the culmination of this you know, picture that Daniel's seen so many times, right? He is seen the Babylonian Empire taken over by the Medo-Persian Empire, taken over by the Greek Empire, taken over by the Roman Empire. Um, in the end times, a revived Roman Empire emerges. And from the leadership of this revived Roman Empire, there comes one leader um, that we know from the book of Revelation to be the Antichrist, the one who stands against everything that God is. And... In verses 11 and 12, we have ultimately the destruction of the Antichrist and this final kingdom, uh, which, of course, was the original vision that, that Daniel had. And that rock that was hewn from the mountain was thrown against this final kingdom and shattered it. And that rock uh, became that final kingdom that endured forever. Well, this is more specifically... Uh, in greater detail what it was that Daniel saw in that initial interpretation of Nebuchadnezzar's dream. This rock was uh, the Son of Man. The Son of Man is a phrase that refers to the Messiah, to the Son of God, to Jesus who was the incarnate Son of God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, uh, lived a perfect life, was crucified, resurrected, and ascended to the very right hand of God and has been at the right hand of God, waiting for the Father to, in his time, as we've been in this age of grace or the church age where the gospel has gone not only to the Jewish nation, but to all non-Jewish nations. And there's been opportunity for, for 2,000 years to this point for people, for any person, uh, for non-Jewish people and Jewish people alike, for, like Paul says, slave and free um, man or woman, you know, the opportunity to have a relationship with the Father through the Son has been extended to all peoples. And now what we have is this final kingdom, the kingdom of the Son, uh, the one on whom Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 to 8, the one on whom uh, this glorious kingdom and the righteousness and justice of God will rest forever is being handed to him, this eternal kingdom, by the Father. This was the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Not just looking forward to the end times, but knowing that the kingdom of God was available to every human being if they would just repent of their sins and trust in Jesus. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Um, this radical kingdom is going to be inaugurated by the second coming of Jesus. And, and here in Daniel chapter 7, we have a, a picture of that. He's coming with the clouds, right? And in Revelation chapter 1, um, this is part of the message that John receives 
John the Revelator, as he's on the island of Patmos, behold, he's coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, even so come quickly, Lord. And that is the picture of the second coming of Jesus. He's coming not just on a, on a, a, a cloudy day. Um, he's not just coming um, in a cloud of power, but he's coming also with a cloud of witnesses. The Bible says that um, those who have, who, who have gone to be with Christ will come with Christ in the second coming. In other words, it'll be the whole host of heaven, every believer who's looked to Jesus for salvation is gonna join him in this glorious second coming. Some people say in addition to that, of course, cloud, uh, the cloud in the Old Testament always represented the presence of God. And so um, it may be as well that that cloud represents the presence of the Father with the Son, uh, but he is going to come, he is going to touch down on planet Earth, he's gonna establish his kingdom that is going to last forever. And then as we're going to see in the next uh, devotion, it is a kingdom that is going to be given to specifically his saints. And so in yesterday's devotion, we looked at the Father. Today, we look at the Son. And we remember as we look at the Son and as we think about his kingdom coming, we remember that all of the kingdoms on this earth are fading away. Jesus said, don't lay up for yourselves treasures on this earth where rust and moth destroy, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven because where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So let's be heavenly minded. Let's today live for the kingdom that lasts forever. Let's be an answer to the prayer, your kingdom come, your will be done. Father, we pray today that you would help us to set our eyes on your son, the son of man, the son of God, the holy one, Jesus, our Savior, and we pray that you would help us to live with great anticipation for the coming day when he comes again. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.